hello guys and welcome back to my channel so today is saturday and i thought i would do a little bit of a saturday vlog i haven't done one in a while but this one's going to be a little bit different because i'm going to show you some cool vegan foodie places around belfast as well so basically the reason for this is because i went vegan for lent and i've been vegan now for a month and like I've been fine eating at home like I've been fine finding recipes and stuff I can make at home but the thing I've been struggling a bit more with is going out for food around the city so I thought I'd put together a bit of a video of like what I eat in a day vegan out around Belfast kind of thing just to show you what there is available and give you some ideas if you're looking for a nice vegan food in Belfast so that's today's plan we're also going to go in Belfast bikes we've never done this before but I've really wanted to do it for ages and I finally convinced Adam so that's what we're going to do and that's pretty much all the plans for today. As always come along with us see what we get up to and we're going to have a good day. The Lampost Cafe which was all like Narnia and C.S. Lewis theme so I think C.S. Lewis was from like around this area so it's in like sort of East Belfast near Conswater. I think he was from around this area so there's a lot of stuff around here that's Narnia themed like there's C.S. Lewis Square and all that it's really cool around here so they actually do really good vegan options. They were one of the only places where I could find that did vegan options that weren't just like avocado on toast or like a vegan fry that was like mushrooms and sausages basically so um i got i'll show you what i got a vegan breakfast bath adam got a normal breakfast bath how's your breakfast bath mm -hmm. so in here we have vegan sausages avocado and like tomato relish so let's give it a go avocado so messy is it free shabaka do <laughs> i assume so the tomato relish is really good i prefer my avocado with a bit more chili but that's just my own personal preference but yeah they had really good vegan options they had like a lot of vegan cakes and stuff like that so yeah i would highly recommend very much enjoying this the vegan sausages are really nice okay so we went to guilt trip donuts uh, in like Orangefield, which isn't too far from the Lampoose Cafe. Normally we would go to Oda, so we, we go to Oda and it's quite a lot. If you watch any of my other vlogs, you'll have seen that. They have loads of cool vegan options. But today we went to Guilt Trip because I just fancied trying their vegan donuts. But unfortunately, they didn't have any left. Apparently they sell out really early in the morning. But I've got one of their coffees and this is an oatmeal flat white. And it's nice, but I have to say I do prefer Oda donuts coffee. The so, Odo Nuts coffee is just a lot smoother. But anyway, because they didn't have any uh, vegan, donuts. vegan donuts left, they gave me free cinnamon sugar doubles, which is quite cool. So I'm going to try one. Whoa. Heavy on cinnamon sugar. But nice. Tastes like a churro. Mm -hmm. And there's like cinnamon too. So. Mm -hmm. These would be great with like a dipping sauce. Give a sniff. But yeah, I'm going to save them for later. Except and then we're going to go sequel. What? Go sequel. Cycle. Oh, I just said sequel. What was that? I'm going to put it
from Camille Thai on the Lisbon Road. I've never been here before, but they had a load of cool vegan options. So I thought, let's give it a go. How cool are these wee tubs I've as well? I've never thought you were as well. Well, we'll know when we open it. Okay. Yeah, because if there's prawns in it, then it's not mine. Oh. So I got as a starter. We you see this as a starter. Chili tofu, right? So there's so much there. I'll do both of us. That looks like yours. Yeah. Adam got a chicken and prawn pad thai. And then I got, what did I get? I have a fork, A please. spice something or others. It was like a vegan spice bag. So it was like potatoes and tofu, I believe. Would you like some potatoes? Oh my goodness, this looks incredible. Okay. So here we have, it's basically just like chili seasoning with fried potatoes, tofu and veg. How's your pad thai? The potatoes are good. Would you like them? Mm. I didn't know if they did like Italian pasta. This is so warm and delicious. But yeah, this spice bag's really good. So a spice bag's like an Irish thing. Really? Yeah, like we don't really have them as much in the north. They're really popular down south. Mm. So like you'd get like your chicken, um, and your chips, and then it's like all your veg, and it's like salt and chili seasoning over it. So this is like a peanut and coriander dip that comes with the tofu, and it's amazing. Peanut? Nah. Coriander? No, I don't like fairy mm. liquid things. I'm gonna start I very much enjoy this. A conspiracy. That isn't actually a conspiracy, because it's true. The coriander is actually just dish soap. So for anyone watching who's unaware of the coriander thing, apparently like, it's like whatever way your taste buds are. Some people taste it as soap, like it actually tastes like soap to some people. Like it has never tasted like soap to me. I've never got that, but Adam always says, and loads of people say it. <laughs> but I don't get it at all. It doesn't taste like soap to I me. miss my mouth. The funny thing about this is like, when you see the boxes, it doesn't look that big. They're dense. There's a lot in here. Just go back and be like, sorry, I think you washed my dinner. <laughs> I know you must have run out of salt or something, but you know, fairy liquid is not the same. <laughs> We're gonna eat. I'll see you later. Might get to start, don't know. Let's see how we feel. Yes, we will. So a short interlude in the vegan options in Belfast, kind of. Kind of is a vegan option in Belfast. Look at this. Jammy Dodger Flapjack. It's from Crichton's on Lisbon Road. And it's this kitchen vigilantes. Vigilantes. So I'm gonna have to look them up and See what else they do because that is incredible. I'm gonna try it. Would you like try it? No, I'm good. It looks amazing. <laughs> they also had a vegan biscoff brownie, but I just thought this looked a lot nicer. <laughs> and I feel like vegan biscoff uh. brownie kind of options are quite like you can get them quite a lot, whereas vegan white chocolate is rare. That's what I've been missing quite a lot. So I was buzzing when I saw this. Let's go, Kia. Quit being a cube and get out of the face. Okay, taste test. Mm. This is nice. You would like this. It's very like raspberry. It's very heavy. Like you only need a wee bit. But it's really good. It makes my day that um Jammy Dodgers are vegan. I love it when you find out things are vegan that like you didn't know were vegan. It really makes me happy. It's not makes me happy. Me. It's not all about you. Okay. You like your neck in. I was saying this yesterday, imagine you actually could. Like an oil. Yeah. Like a giraffe. <laughs> imagine a giraffe could like imagine that's when the giraffes woke up in the morning and they wound their necks out. <laughs> Yeah, like a jack in the box. Like, when I don't talk about evolution and all that sort of dumb do with like, oh, they sort of evolved as they needed to. Like, there's a giraffe one day, just like. <sighs> that tree, that food on that tree looks really nice. That tree food thing would get my tongue all up in and around. Yeah. So if I like lean forward for like a couple million years, someday someone will be able to get, not me, but. <laughs> my. My uh, descendants. Climbing brethren, please yeah. go climb and knock down and then they get a flower. I'm sure if you looked it up you could find out why they evolved like that. 
<laughs> Hello guys, so it is now the next day, it is Sunday morning, so it is the end of the vlog. I'm just gonna kind of wrap things up here. All the food yesterday was amazing. It's really fun finding cool vegan options in Belfast because like sometimes I lose hope that there's not that many good options and then when I find good things I'm like, oh my word, there are good options. So yeah, after that we pretty much just came back to my house and watched Somebody Feed Phil on Netflix if, anyone, if anyone's watched it. It's very good. It's a very enjoyable show. Um, so yeah, that's how we spent our evening. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to head over and give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe because I upload videos every Sunday. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon for a brand new video. Bye!